Welcome to the podcast. Uh, this is Raghuram. This is Sai Prakash. And let's get into it. So, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about DC. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good topic. Yes, sir. Sure. So, did you know DC was called Detective Comics? I think, I think yeah, yeah. I mean, I, back in... What is it? Was it 80s? 70s? 80s, 80s. Yeah. I it started, with, I it started Batman. with Batman, I believe, right? Batman as a centerpiece with the, how the detective has come out of it. Yeah, yeah. Batman, Batman was one of their first comic lines. I and mean, Superman was technically, but Batman is what blew up DC. The mainstream. Yeah. And just to trigger you a little bit, Marvel is a legit fucking ripoff of DC. Not even joking. You can find parallels between almost every character, except Superman and Spider-Man. Like pretty much, you can see parallels. Just letting you know. I mean, you're not triggering me. I have a DC fan. I have. I literally have a Batman. Tattoo. So do I, Raghu. So do <laughs> I. Want to show me a tattoo? No, I don't want to show you my tattoo. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. DC has always been the forefront in the comic industry. I would say. Yeah. Uh, it has definitely ripped off a few characters, but Marvel has, I would say, no, slightly made tweaked it a bit, a little better for the mass audience. True. But yeah, DC has always stayed. Uh, true to the core fans. Also, that, yeah. I always felt like DC had that certain gravity to it because it was dark as fuck. It was. It was. Yeah. It was always dark, bro. There is not a single bat. Like put aside Batman, right? Any character you take in DC, their arc and the villain's arc is not random. Yeah. It's not like a spider biting you becoming a superhero. There is some like dark shit. Like it's not just the guy. It's the guy's his parents. What fucked up shit happened with There's them? Three generation involved in their yeah. own character. Right? Ah, the same with the villains, right? Like look at Joker. Look at look at pretty much any Batman villain. They all have fucked up pasts. Have you read Killing Joke by any chance? Yeah, I did. I did. It's so dark. Like literally, there is an entire sequence where Joker sexually assaults Barbara Gordon, puts her in a roller coaster, clicks images. Sends it to James Gordon, and that was too much to take, bro. At least at that time, I thought okay, for a this comic, is that yeah, for a comic, it is too too much to take. Yeah, yeah. Right. So coming to the TV shows aspect or movies aspect of it, I think yeah, before I want to go into the TV shows or how the, how DC blew up mainstream to every mass audience, I was just well into how about Batman a little bit. Mm. I think we have to give homage to the character yes, as a yeah. general it's yes. before going into how the yeah. movies blew it up, but. It, it always amazes me how every writer or every comic uh, or every director looks at how Batman's past, like how his origins. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Wayne. But there are there is certain things that are very common. With it. There are, uh, I think, what's his mother's name? Uh, Martha. Wayne. Martha. Yeah. Her chain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Falling off. Yeah. The dark alley. Yeah. The gun. Yeah. Uh, the robbery yeah. part. I think that is what amazes me a lot, and I, I'm always excited on how they're gonna show the future Batman's. Pass like that is what very intrigues me a lot every time. Yeah, see, that's uh, so. If you essentially look at it from a comic standpoint, it's literally a fucking page. Yes, exactly. And in that page, what happens? As you said, dark alley. Thomas, Martha, Bruce walking. Thug comes, and Pearl basically he snatches the pearl. He wants to snatch the pearl, but it's not like coming off. And then, and then Tom he realizes it's Thomas Wayne, so he just panics, shoots, goes. Yeah. That's pretty much like the the origin of of the trauma of Batman, right? But I loved it. See again, Dark Knight, uh, Batman Begins did a good job, but for some fucking I don't care if people agree or not, Batman vs Superman showed it the best. I really liked it. Was it the one where uh, the gun is? Inside the chain, and as soon as it triggers, yes. it breaks off. Yes, exactly. the focus yeah. goes right Eat onto the gun. Exactly, yeah. That's and a, like the next amazing. frame is the gun the shooting, and like point. the oh, pearls yeah, yeah. big. So I would say the best scene of that triggering point. And then, and then the next shot is a close on Batman's face, and you can see like he's already yeah. traumatized. But yeah, the origins. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, as you rightfully said, no matter how many movies come and go, the scene has to be there. It has to be there. It has to. Again, what was the one in the Batman, the Robert Pattinson one? I don't there is one. not. There's, oh yeah, there is. That's the beauty. Really that's the beauty of the movie, right? Did you like it? Oh, I loved. I loved it too. The beauty of that movie is he is basically a new Batman. Right. So he is not trained. He is not Batman yet. So he's Batman for just a year. Right. So he's figuring out stuff. 
I would say that's the best monologue in a comic book movie that I have ever seen. The way it starts off with him narrating, True. the way it ends with him narrating, him realizing pretty much towards the end that okay, it's like I'm not here to fear people. I mean, I'm not here to, you know, for people to be scared of me. I'm a hope. And he's still so young that he has not experienced the loss of life in it. Not yet. In, his in, life. in a legend, an actual Batman, yet, the yeah. no-killing person, the yeah. no-guns person. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he has not yet become that, which is what uh, yeah. gets added to the Batman two if it ever comes. So short thing. Okay, in like comic book events, basically this is called. Uh, I forgot the movie based on this. It's called Batman Halloween something. Okay. So that's the origin of. Actually, that's the origin of Riddler. Uh, first, it's just pretty much the same story. He. he thinks he's smarter than everyone else and he understands certain political crime that is happening in gotham so he wants to put put like exploit. put everything exploit put everything in front of people right again bro look at it the even the conversation we are having about these stories is so deep versus most comic book uh, movies right um so here yeah, we can't go for the same deep part in the marvel if you take anything it just cannot happen yeah. because marvel is more vibrant it's funny all the time um uh, And even the comics as well—it's very vibrant. Yeah, yeah, comics also very colorful. colorful. I would say, which is not the case with any of the DC versions. Yeah, yeah, uh, true. Versions. Marvel, yeah, and they're all like, but Infinity War—that aspect of it is a bit dark in comics. Actually, a lot of people died. Eh? Not even in the movies. If you die, you know for a fact that they're coming back. <laughs> Except for Iron Man, I guess. But like, you know, uh, you never know. The just Marvel has uh, opened up a lot. But I don't think they're getting Robert Downey back, bro. It won't, won't, it won't be yeah. fair to get him back. It again. won't be fair, at least for all that fucking. Well, they bought Iron Heart or something, which failed. Yeah, you know about Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> they actually bought a character called Iron Heart, uh, which is why are the Wakanda forever? Uh, oh, you okay, get okay, through that. Girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. so she. I believe she's a girl. Be you mean the sister? The small, not the sister. The sister recruit somebody. Who has an Iron Man kind of suit uh, thing? I know what you're talking about. Which Iron movie Man. is this? Ah, I know what you're talking about. I've, I have that flash in my head. It's like, uh, so yeah, they have something called Iron Man. I think it's gonna fail. But uh, you yeah. should would actually, you know, I'm gonna go on the call and say I would rather watch Paper Pots, bro, kick ass, than some random Wakandan person trying to be Iron Man. They should make a twenty, you know, a one minute, ten minute shots about Paper Pots being on the helm of Iron Man. Yeah, that'd be good. At least because it would have a certain continuity from Phase Three, right? They tried that with a Groot series. Uh, have you seen that? It's just maybe five minutes. Shots up about Groot doing his, uh, that's baby Groot doing his exploits and all. It's just a funny thing you can watch while you're eating it. So. Uh, no, and uh, see, GOTG one I like. Uh, James Gunn, you did it as a fucking porn director before. Yeah, James, that was genuinely funny. The God Edmund, no matter how much you hate Marvel, you cannot say it's it's an unfunny movie, right? It's just so random. It's so random. The comedy is just too random. Trilogy, <laughs> but the trilogy. Is, you should watch the third part. It I will. Is, I will. Don't spoil. I will. I will. It is. I won't spoil you, but it actually connects everything that's happening in the first two parts for a certain character. It's it's just purely. Let me guess. Someone dies, and that someone is probably either uh, Rocket or uh, uh, the main guy. What's his name? Star Lord or someone. Uh, See, I won't give any spoilers. Yeah, I'm guessing. No, from where? It, it has so. it has origins of Rocket. Which is what makes the whole movie so interesting. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I love Rocket. So I love Bradley Cooper did a fucking amazing job I voicing just, him. Just uh, and like <laughs> some other fact that is Bradley Cooper is at one level delivery of the dialogue and uh, just how um, again like the way they've written it for uh, I love it where uh, Infinity War it's built around the ca- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ca- characters in, in Infinity War I love the dynamic between like. Thor and Rocket, rabbit. Let's go, rabbits. <laughs> this is too hilarious, man. It's just funny as you know. This comic accurate name, rockets. No, it's, I don't know much uh, for Marvel. It's uh, Rocket Raccoon. Oh, and they have not mentioned it in the first two parts. Uh, and uh, and yeah. he denies the fact that he's a raccoon. raccoon yeah, <laughs> he's but ashamed of it. Sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole arc goes on a full circle by the end of the movie, where yeah. there's a very cool scene. I want to talk about it. Don't talk. It's just a one. scene. Uh, he just takes up a gun and is like, and "The name's uh, Rocket, Rocket Raccoon," and the whole oh, got it, got it, got it. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. The name's Rocket. Rocket Raccoon. Let's see again. Marvel does a good job with hype. 
Yeah. You got to admit fan it. Fan service, if you could say. Uh, they, could, they do a good fan service. Oh, no. DC does a good fan service. Exactly. Marvel, Marvel satisfies every, more audience. Every movie person. It On an average. Have, yeah. Exactly. You don't have to like comic books or, or have a certain still perspective. Watch the movie. Anybody can watch the movie and have fun. Yeah. Coming back to the real shit, DC. Okay, let's go back to DC. Yes, I think sir. I don't want to do it on Marvel. Yes, We have sir. some cool shit to talk about, basically. Definitely, definitely. So, again, Batman, right? Uh, so, this part, the first, the movie Robert Pattinson, is again based on that Holly, Holly, Halloween night, where Batman himself realizes that everybody's scared of him. He is in that zone where, okay, now I've in just. Yeah, to see him as a protector. He's yeah. So, by then, like, one year he scouts. In, like, the monologue, how they say, I forgot that particular word you use. If you stay up all night, a few animals are awake at night. They sleep in the mornings. They hunt at night. They call somebody. I don't. I forgot that particular word. In his monologue, also he says it. It's like I've turned into that. I've become one. So for one entire year, he observes Gotham. Can you look at the animals that stay up at night? Yeah, please. Uh, so the idea is, uh, he for the first one year observes. This is again shown in Batman Begins too, in a very subtle manner. But oh, after he comes back from Ra's al Ghul. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, subtle. But here they, they delivered it through dialogue and I loved it. Yes. So ideally he just observes Gotham. He observes the crime that's happening, where it is happening, what he needs to do to stop it. Still him. building his tech. Yeah, yeah. So there are just two. Uh, and building his relationships with the community. Yeah. Gordon as well. Gordon doesn't know Batman as yet. Yet. So yet. Still, uh, yet. Yeah. So just that very early relationship with the with Gordon and all that. So basically, Gotham has two. Uh, what is that? Nocturnal. Animal. Nocturnal. Nocturnal. Yeah. Yes. All these nights have turned me into a nocturnal oh, yeah. animal. Yeah. Well, fuck that. Everything. That like uh, if you're not a. Uh, if you're not a ba- DC fan, that would look like, okay, what the fuck is it? Just it, it, it would look so crazy. Again, 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 a lot of people didn't like it. I, I didn't find a reason why. Honestly, after the trilogy, this was the best Batman delivery ever. Even and the Joker as well. I just wanted to oh my God. As good as the movie was, it's it is not... It is not as likable as uh, the movies is what some community, uh, community yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it does it does Fuck prove what a joker is. It it's is not very a very true character. It's just really, very true yeah. character and they didn't try to overkill the entire Batman zone. They only tease Thomas Wayne to a certain level and that's about it. Remove Gotham from the picture. Yeah. Remove Gotham, remove Bruce Wayne, remove yeah. the entire thing. It's just a psychologically fucked up guy. Yeah. Or a yeah. Psychologically fucked trying to figure out what the word. Yeah. He's trying yeah. to figure out how to live. Yeah. yeah. Basic lift. Yeah. Basic sense of living. So this is called something, right? So in cinema, uh, basically what happens is first act, there's something called setup. Where you involve the world, uh, you bring you show what the character is, why he is the way he is. And typically with movies like this, you sympathize with the no matter how fucked up he is in the head, you start sympathizing with him. Because you think, okay, this is how a fucked up person would think. The moment you realize how a fucked up person would think and why he does fucked up shit. If you observe, even in the movie, he doesn't really do fucked up shit until the very, very end of it. It's almost like, so almost for you, like for two and a half acts, it's just building up to what the actual joke is. Yeah, like how fucked up the society is and how it like just constantly fucks him down. And then that's like his redemption. Right now, he's just like, I don't care anymore. I understand things for what they are. That's a beautiful transition. Okay, let's go into the TV series. Uh, let, let's forget about the movies and let's just... Uh, we have a lot to talk about the TV series aspect of DC. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's start with the Arrowverse and then go into how Flash, how Supergirl... And what was the other one? The Legends of... Oh, Legends of Tomorrow. How did we even forget about that? Yeah, yeah, Legends. That's like the whole... But yeah, it's a, it's a forgettable series. It is. In fact, to be very honest, I don't remember that shit. Yeah. It's, it was about a Millennium Falcon like looking ship and the time travel and stuff. So yeah. it's fucking random match. It just like after a point, they uh, they ventured too much with time. Yeah. It was fun initially. Where there were crossovers. crossovers. Yeah. yeah. That was crossovers fun. Crossovers were fun. Yeah. They just took it too far. Yeah. yeah. When they introduced that going past, going yeah. towards the Hitler era and the World yeah, War era. Yeah, yeah. That. that was just too random. I think yeah. that's the last of it I watched. Yeah. Not even I think they stopped it. They had some uh, a- crossover like aliens coming from outer space and fo- yeah. the four universe collide. I remember that watching that too. <laughs> it's like Loki, D- uh, Justice oh, League. Yeah, yeah. Superman comes in. You know that, right? The Superman. Superman currently has a separate series. Uh, CW. Nashville. Nashville. Yeah. No, not Nashville. 
the same superman from supergirl i know i know uh, he has a series which that guy is wearing green wolf as well yeah his good so i cannot unsee it whenever i see him as superman i can only see him like that alpha dog i mean wolf uh-huh. i'm like okay into the end okay. i just uh, i just we don't have to talk about the bad part let's just talk about how good <laughs> arrow started just like how oh my every season how it you know it's like this yeah, yeah. it's like an onion like you know every after every yeah. piece just gets, after every se- uh, season you just get molded to olive green oh my god yeah the way the first five seasons went uh, explaining how his life in the island was and how yeah, everything yeah. developed and see that's the beauty of it right that screenplay was so unseen for uh, typical tv shows by that time so you have snippets of what happened in the island which doesn't fucking end. Exactly. It's like keeps going for you to have five seasons. Yeah. That is the greatest part. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing yeah. 10 years into the future when you're yeah. writing a screenplay yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Which is unheard of to be which honest. is unheard of. And they pulled it off. Again, that's what I'm talking about, right? The darkness that DC contains even in its TV shows is insane. Yes. Arrow is the closest you can get to Batman without Batman. There's a scene uh, in Arrow and Flash crossover where it's like, uh, have you heard about uh, the Gotham Knight? And uh, but, uh, yeah, Arrow says that, and Flash is like, I thought I thought he was an urban legend. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know what's talking about. Uh, yeah, I love how they tease. The, the whole it, I love how the they tease Justice League yeah. characters, man. In these things, it's it's, it's lit. And the way I, that I can't understand the fact that they think Batman's an urban legend. While believing in Superman, while they met Superman in real life, in the same timeline, that just is shows uh, that just shows what Batman is an idea. Yeah. End of the day, right? Superman is like all about hope. He's fancy. People know. People compare him to God, right? Uh, but Batman is anybody they, can, you know, can be Batman. Anybody can be Batman, right? And uh, that's the idea. That's it's I think it was in the Nolan trilogy is where this uh, anybody can. This is just a mask. Anybody, this is an idea. Yeah. That, Again, the way how he passes down to the Robin, Robin, I guess. Yes, uh, yes. Dark yes. Knight Rises. Yes, yes. Oh that too, they reveal it too much towards the end. You see how we are starting with some a topic like the Arrow or Flash, and we're still again going back to where Batman. See, the whole gravity is where it is. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, you're obviously comparing Dark Knight trilogy to to a, to a fucking CW show, so. Uh, obviously gravitate you gravitate towards that side but not undermining this it was pretty good for like i was hooked flash i think i started watching it what when did you start watching it 11th grade or 10th grade or? i was uh, yeah intermediate uh, intermediate yeah. or our intermediate times as yeah. well for flash that was just too good man loved it arrow and even flash for like um character development Exactly. It was and funny. It was it was funny, which was unheard of in DC until yes, that point yes. of time. I it was effortlessly funny. Yeah. Unlike the new DC movies, which are like there's a lot of forced comedy. If you but draw I, a parallel, I mean, it's very clear that Flash is a Superman ideal and Arrow is a Batman ideal. Flash is not yeah. a Superman ideal. He, I mean, he's you know he tries to be funny, he tries to be vibrant, he tries to be helping. Ah, I know what you mean. That kind of ideology. See, Rabu. there is this i call it uh, balance right you find balance in everything bro naruto sasuke yeah. goku vegeta fucking superman batman uh, even in avengers right you have uh, iron man captain america yeah so it is everywhere it's in, i think it's every movie ever if you yeah, say that yeah. because both complement each other true, true. so like that's how you build both characters both characters and like again certain comedy gen- Again, going back to the uh, ba- Robert Pattinson's Batman movie, the comedy was so effortless and beautiful. I just wanted to let you know about that. The, what was that? Red, uh, penguin Rattler. Rattler. Yeah, the Penguin Rattler. Oh, the Spanish. You know, remember yeah, the Spanish yeah. scene where they misinterpreted so one that was said. That is so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. Effortless. Like, you can't write that uh, with yeah, the same yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. They must have like envisioned it. Yeah, yeah. In dialogue, like if two people talk and they have like powers and shit, yeah. like they are criminals and nice guys. What oh, would be funny? Yeah. But that world. Can't imagine. Was... Who, I don't remember the character's name. The one who played Penguin. But Neither can I. He looks so different. Exactly. The prosthetics have improved so much. Yeah, somehow. and nobody could nail. Do you remember know the first Penguin back I in my exactly Michael Keaton era? Cringe, bro. Uh, yeah, the yeah, beak, yeah. the the beak, suit, typical uh, leather, like hair, umbrella. umbrella. Exactly, umbrella. Yeah, yeah, Coming yeah. from there, have you seen yeah. the prosthetics of the movie? You know, the damn, good, damn good, damn good, damn good. I don't think did you watch Gotham? Mm, no. Check it out. 
Dan Gucho. Dan It's a drag. It's a bit of a drag. Or not gonna lie. It's, it's more about Alfred uh, mm. as a no, shadow. It's, it's Bruce, uh, beyond. So there are two comic book origins of how Batman uh, learns martial arts. One is that typical he goes to the mountains. Ra's al Ghul trains him. Comes back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but actually, like Alfred Pennyworth is a um, what is uh, British intelligence called? MIA. MIA. Yeah. So he's oh, from. Right. Yeah, he's from MIA in the comic books. Uh, he's from oh, MIA. Gotham's base of British. I am not. Di- Alfred is British. Okay. 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 Alfred is British. Alfred in general is British. In, yeah. Alfred is a British origin person. So Alfred would work in MIA. So he knows a lot of combat. And he would train Batman. Combat. Yeah, obviously. That's the least you should know. I mean, we have never seen Alfred uh, fighting in all that. Uh, oh, trust me, he fights a lot in comics. No, no, no. You have to watch Gotham. You'll get a better perspective. It's more about like what went behind Bruce Wayne uh, as a kid. Bit of a drag, but you'll have subtle, uh, uh, a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of references. True. You would like it. You could actually put a lot of Easter eggs into that. Yeah. So that's kind of lovely. And uh, how how Gordon has influenced Batman as a kid. I mean, Bruce Wayne as a kid. Oh, we have Gordon also. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Gordon's young. Gordon's like the main guy. I think by the end, uh, I've seen a few snippets on uh, YouTube and some reels. Yeah, he becomes Batman. Yeah, I've seen the Batman uh, outline cut out while jumping on the window or something like that. That's the most yeah. latest. I think he's going to become Batman next season. Yeah. This, this season. Oh, it's still continuing. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've stopped watching yeah. it. There's no time in life anymore. But <laughs> I would love to again, like, binge stuff, bro. Yeah, honestly, if DC makes a really good show, I think we have so many choices at this moment that it's so hard to even think about something like how we used yeah. to binge watch I shows know. back in the day. Time is not like that anymore, man. Do you remember how we hopped on Game of Thrones? Yeah. I'm telling you, uh, it was my semester insane. break. It was my second year semester break, and I had six days of holidays. I haven't started Game of Thrones yet. Yeah, six days, eight, ten episodes each day. And I finished the whole six seasons by the end of the next week's Monday episode. That's I, how I... Uh, and yeah. shortly after, I think I started binging. Yeah. We would discuss for hours. Oh my god. I remember us discussing about how after every Flash episode, we used to get on a call. I know, right? Flash was something such like, a thing, man. Like Savita, we have... Uh, what yeah. are, Godspeed. Godspeed, yeah. So, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I think the as, I, I really loved Harrison Wells how they incorporated yeah, his yeah. character like dif- yeah, bringing yeah. different HG Wells sometimes calling him Harry bringing him different multiverses very true they, yeah. they had a broad vision for the show uh, for sure I think the se- the first season worked out well hence nothing got fucked really uh, they continued it like that it just went uh, at a very good direction now. and I like Marvel they actually did the multiverse theory the multiverse concept they incorporated that into movies and screen they really good unlike how Marvel, Marvel, Marvel uh, see Marvel did a very good job with the whole junior the first 10 movies the first movie. phase 3 doesn't matter they made money Yeah, they made insane money bro that is that is unheard of kind of shit DC failed but you can't, you can't take away how the Infinity War and the Endgame hype that the world has received it was like this uh, yeah, true, true, true. like imagine Buffalo. imagine you're in you're in, you're, in, you're, in, you're in, you were born in 1970s and you just saw, saw the first the Empire Strikes Back I yes? gotta say that yeah, 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 yeah and you just came out of the theatre and thinking that yeah. oh fuck yeah, Darth Vader. Luke's father is Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. Imagine yeah. the whole world feeling the same way yeah, yeah. coming out of the theater. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. Endgame and Infinity War was was the similar kind of thing for yeah. our generation. Yeah, yeah, true that. True, but yeah. I would, you know, I would kill I mean, some. I would kill it to go back to the 1980s and feel how the world. I felt. know. I would rather. Darth I would son. rather yeah. feel nice. Yeah, hearing Darth Vader say, oh, "I yeah. am your father." That, that, yeah, yeah. Obi Wan never told you. What happened to your father? He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. That is, uh, again, see, these are cultural phenom- phenomena, right? Like, what Star Wars had created then is still continuing. This Imagine what Marvel will do. There's no, I wish DC will get them. I feel like Nolan abused it. That's not right. What he did is not right. Uh, he made three insanely good movies, set the and bar so high. And just nobody can agree. Yeah. Everybody ends up comparing because why not? Like, there's nothing wrong. You will write ultimately. 
and the new batman is the closest that can get to that quality and if they had continued with the uh, ben affleck and henry cavill really, uh, mm-hmm. as a character relationship they might have probably in the future scenarios they might have reached that nolan level but i don't know that's not possible yeah. because see it starts with the world building right the way mm-hmm. nolan shot that movie with imax cameras yeah, yeah. he doesn't use graphics yeah. it's all props real like he, people actually jump in stuff so uh, I mean, Dark Knight's ending. <laughs> it's like a Telugu movie mass. God damn! It's like he is Rajmouli in different aspects. He understands emotion really well. Gordon's son literally asks him, "Why is he running?" And the reply Gordon oh gives is, "Because he can." <laughs> That's the first reply he gives. Because he can. Because we have to. Ah, uh, that's just too much, man. Because he can take it. Yeah. Oh God! I still, I still got goosebumps. I know, man. The moment, just... the moment he says the dark night and the title falls, and then that cut is so abrupt. He just goes like, and his cape too. The physics of how the cape moves while he's driving at that speed. He just exits the acting cut. That's just like that's just it's done. And then they tease Joker too a little bit. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Uh, that was for Batman Begins. I love Batman Begins ending. The card, the card, card, right? Yeah. yeah. They, they, you are not the only mass visual <laughs> idea. He he says yeah. You, you probably know the theory, right? The 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 word to bring the of course, Joker in into rises. the rises. But it's as a prison nomads, break scene, yeah. yeah. As a nomads, they did not even touch his character. Yeah, yeah. They just went with Scarecrow. Oh yeah, it was Scarecrow. Killian Murphy, bro. He also did a damn good job. Oh yeah, yeah. He's there almost all the time. You may think about it. He's starting an open up. I think he's the protagonist. He is the, the open up. Yeah. yeah, I am excited for that movie. Yeah. Uh, did you watch this uh, Telugu movie? Uh, uh, NDR and uh, Siddharth. Uh, I'm not getting the name off. NDR and Siddharth. A junior NDR. Siddharth is junior NDR's brother. Do you know by any chance? Ah, uh, can you look it up? Uh, it's called Sino uh, Life. The director. I'm not a big like. It's not coming off my mind. Siddharth, you mean uh, R. Siddharth, the Siddharth, Happy Day Siddharth. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 so Happy Day 2019. This one, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know Siddharth, bro. Siddharth, Siddharth, Siddharth. You don't. Know, you don't remember it all. It's called. It's Bacha. Bacha. Bacha or Siddharth? Where where Siddharth and Bacha? Are you stupid fucker, water ground? Siddharth and Tevada Babu. Who are they? Who are they? Ah, Siddharth passed. In the past, he's, his brother. Dies in a bomb blast. I recently saw a meme. Okay, you know what the meme says? Walking out of Oppenheimer, be like, and then Siddharth like he the bomb blast in a movie theater. Siddharth like just fucking like with that explosion yeah, yeah, flies yeah, yeah. off. <laughs> that was too hilarious. It was almost realistic. I can't get India's face, <laughs> the beard off my mind when you mention Bacha. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. But again, I like India somehow. Just come in this batch. No, but think about it, bro. Walking out of Oppenheimer, class is that just like blasted out of the fucking theater. That was a hilarious idea of me. Yeah, man. Oppenheimer, we should catch. It's been a while we watched. You know what? Silly thing, along with Oppenheimer, I'm not gonna watch Barbie. At least I'll watch it when it comes out in the theaters. I haven't, but like, see, again, even you are not going. The new trailer makes sense. I know you're going only for Margot Rao. That's obvious, but it's obvious. See, but uh, I mean, I can wait. Not in like my teens. Uh, have you seen the new trailer? The new, the latest one, which released like two days ago. Very honest, I didn't watch the first trailer too. Yeah, I'll give you a synopsis. We have Barbie in the Barbie world. It's called the Barbie Land, obviously. And we have Ken. So at some point in the Barbie's timeline, uh, Margot Robbie realizes that she's more than a toy. She she feels that she can feel you know pain. She can't. Uh, What's the word? It introduces like they're all toys. It, it introduces as a toys. Everybody oh, being a toy. Okay, then okay, she okay, realizes okay. that Barbie Land is not the end of the world. There's an actual real world outside, and it's actually mentioned that you know this is the way to real world because there's actually an arrow. Oh, yeah. And Margot goes into the real world with actual humans, trusts as normal beings, and she does all colorful and all. Oh, so they have a plot. That's the oh, that's okay, the plot. Okay, okay, okay. Even I was assuming that you know it's just about some Barbie world stuff, but again, yeah, they are actually bringing it into the real world. Yeah, yeah. cast is really good. You can't deny that. You have Ryan Gosling, Gosling and Margot Robbie. It's promising stuff. You can definitely. I think it's gonna bag some Oscars in the costume design or the visual. Yeah, visual effects. Yeah, yeah, like Somewhere it's gonna set design or or it could go there. It could go there. It has that potential. It does. It does. And movies like this surprisingly win. 
Yeah. All the time. I was thinking like, uh, did Nolan win any? Um, yeah. Did any of Nolan Oscars? Yes, he did. We have the Joker. We have, of course, Best Actor. The only two Oscars. Oscars. Dunkirk something. I think Dunkirk won some Best Sound Design. Uh, Nolan won for a lot. Uh-huh. Interstellar, he, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> every movie, Hans Zimmer, yeah. right? Yeah. Every movie he makes, even yeah. something or the other. Literally every movie. I mean, other than his like very first movies, do you watch Following? It was his first movie. Yeah. Uh, did you watch it? The Detective one is the one, right? Did you watch it? No, that is. Uh, I'm talking about his second movie. You're talking about his first movie. His first movie is called uh, The Detective One, I believe. The Island. Yeah, it is called uh, Insomnia. Ah, yeah. That is the first part, and that's a remake. That's the only known in remake, which is his debut in movie, okay. which is not the least success of his. Is that movie? The second one is a black and white movie called Following. Okay. Have you heard about it? I've heard about it. Yeah. It's just a 90 minutes movie. Very small, right? Simple concept. What do you do now? Like, if you were to stalk someone, what would you do? I would go on Instagram, or right? Go on Facebook. The logline of that movie is that so this is a guy. He just likes to stalk, and the title of the movie is literally the plot. He just follows people. <laughs> <laughs> It's insane, bro. The kind of sound design they did makes you feel so uncomfortable. It's almost mental. And it's black and white. It's black and white. So all the more reason for you to be uncomfortable. So all the frames. So in cinema, there's a certain technique, right? Like the more uh, a claustrophobic your frame is, you feel a certain uncomfortable uh, feeling uh, of of while you're watching it. And he maintains it. That's very Nolan-esque. Yeah, yeah, that's Nolan as fuck. You should watch that movie. Ninety right? minutes time pass. What? It's fun at least for the music, bro. The score is scary. Yeah, and it's not just that. It has a plot, obviously, around it. You should watch. This guy obviously gets into shit that he's not supposed to. And Atla, that's the long line. It's pretty good. We have a cool movie that's coming next month. And actually, June and July is going to be a very busy month. Uh, yes, sir. We have the Spider Man, the Spider Verse. Have you seen the trailers? Yes, I have. And in fact, that's one Marvel movie. That's the best animated movie I've seen. It's not Marvel. It's Sony. Sony. Yeah, yeah. Again, again, again. <laughs> that's the reason why it's again. so good. It's so good, right? <laughs> again, I loved all Sony Marvel shit. Oh yeah. Oh my God. What can I say, man? Um, everything. Everything about it. And the greatest thing for me, I personally, I'm currently playing the. Sp- yeah, Spider Man yeah, Miles Morales. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I relate more to the character than ever. Uh, Right, for a person who's not actually playing the game, so yeah, yeah. watching this movie in theaters, feeling the character, all the uh, people obviously. around him. But then the first part was so fucking good. I lost my shit. I didn't know. I have to give props, a certain props to the music, how Post Malone. Everything, was everything yeah. about it, set design, music, the world building. It's not over, and the animation as well was a game changer for the entire animation movie industry. True, 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 true. Like you know when he whips out his uh, whips yeah, out yeah, his yeah. yeah. There's a tick, like 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 how it actually comic book like. Yeah. Did you watch uh, this movie by any chance? Um, Sin City. No. So putting aside, uh, this is completely animated, right? At some level, Sin City is with. Real life people, I know, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce Willis is the yes, 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 yes. It is. I read a review. I read a review. You know what the review says? Uh, it's not a comic book adaptation. It's a comic book translation. <laughs> so yeah. good, man. Me and Rigveer were watching it. Uh, so we didn't we didn't know it was an anthology. Like we thought, like it's gonna it's an entire two hour flick. Shit started going down, bro. He like it was so weird. We didn't understand. But twenty thirty minutes down, credit starts rolling. We were like, "What the hell is happening?" That's when we googled and we realized, "Oh, okay, okay, this is an actual like there are multiple stories involved in this." <laughs> you should really check it out, Rahul. Oh my God, it's such. You're a- saying it's a movie with four different stories, four different files into it, and there is one story which is twenty seconds, five or six. Why do I feel like I've already seen it? And when I watch it, I'm like, oh fuck, you've seen it. No, uh, it's not something. Even if you did watch, you didn't watch it properly because it is something you will not forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's definitely like, worth a rewatch. Definitely, yeah. It's like impact creating stuff, right? Uh, uh, talking about game changes, I would uh, the Black Mirror Bandersnatch. Oh Black Mirror as a series, uh, we can not talk about it, but Bandersnatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I think uh, it how just opened up a new world for Netflix. <laughs> Netflix, exactly. Literally exactly. speaking. That was an experience. The first time I watched, I didn't have a Netflix subscription. Did you? So, uh, did you jump or did you not? 
I did for the first. I did first first time. Yeah, I did. I did. So yeah. So for the first time I watched, I didn't know about the interactive part of the movie. So what I, I what I did was I downloaded my Telegram. I watched it. However, it was I watched uh, the okay. movie ended. Must like, have had one narration. Just a single line. Right. Then I had then I had stories about how different variations of the movie can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I took some subscription and I watched it. It was mind blowing. Hey, now that. You brought it up. I think I'll check it out too. Well, it's been a long time. I should rewatch it totally. I keep watching re- Black Mirror stuff every now and then. Yeah, it is rewatchable. We have a new season coming next week, next month. I'm so happy he's there in this plot. Aaron Paul. Aaron Paul is there. Yeah, we have some so good cast. They're bringing back somebody from season the past season as well. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. Black woman. About. The black woman. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, they're bringing back her. It's nice. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. They literally tweeted twenty twenty three saying uh, they're not going to release a uh, season this uh, uh, this year because the world is already done. <laughs> That's literally what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I did not exactly. I'm trying to paraphrase them, but yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna look at it. Look at yeah, it. yeah, it's pretty dark. It's all dark. It's just dark, sad reality of what tech can do to you in a couple of years. Really love Black Mirror, man. Look I really there. feel like crocodile. Crocodile is just uncomfortable stuff, bro. It's like. Strict for covering up one murder. How many can you do? How many will you do? And that's what a crocodile does, right? It's the coldest animal on this planet. It literally looks at people like if I look at you, you look like a snack to me. How you would look like lunch? That's that's how just a crocodile views world, right? And uh, encapsulated it. Yeah, yeah. Too so fucking, good, so good. So I mean, if you talk, we need one podcast exclusive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We can literally decode every episode, go deep dive into it. We've done it multiple times. Black Mirror is wild, yeah, for sure. Let, 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 let's just dwell uh, since we're into the movie and we're uh, gonna just dwell into the our local stuff. Let's just touch the Telugu movies. Like you know, pre Bahubali only, pre Bahubali era before Telugu movies opened up to the world. Mm. Uh, like how it has, it was a close community of people. Like how it influenced us. How mm. they've taken inspiration from the Bollywood or the Hollywood. How they were trying to be that. Mm. And then yeah, we'll get into the RRR and the Bahubali era. Mm. But uh, I would say let's start with uh, July, I believe. I think closest one that could resemble. Uh, Only because of the bank robbery scene, of course. But, See again, that's Trivikram, right? Yeah, he copies every movie. I. Mean, See, I mean, allegations, but yeah, it's kind of stupid because that's what you would watch. You the, would the Vikram cuts. No, bro. See, my logic is you would watch a Trivikram movie for the dialogue and the fun. Who gives a fuck if he lifted a scene? Like, it doesn't really matter, man. To me, if you ask me personally, and the evolution of Telugu cinema is mental, bro. See, again, we were original as fuck at a point, right? Like, I'm talking about like. See, for us, movies or musicals. I'm talking about the very origin of movies by itself. It was only mythology and musicals where they would because we had we have such a vast mythology. They would pick up a certain myth, make a so movie on it, part of it, yeah, and make a movie on it, and it was almost people for people who were movies was like a pilgrimage. It's like meeting God, right? <laughs> uh, so that was a vibe for a while. And later, uh, slowly Krishna uh, and uh, the Adrian himself. The hero complex. Yeah, the, the hero complex. Uh, complex. I would say the savior yeah, complex. Yeah, so he has made Aluri Sitaram Raju with yeah. color, and a lot of things changed since then. Again, our scripts yeah. were really good. Uh, there is this movie called Abey Kallu. Have you heard about it? It's a damn good movie. It's a suspense you thriller. Where do you get all these movies? You know, I watch a lot of movies, Raghu. Uh, Abey Kallu Lachlan is too good. So basically, it's a killer. It's again so well made. The world is basically in a bungalow. Someone dies, okay, and the killer is someone at home. And the only only clue that they have is how his eyes look in that in that particular ski mask or something. So Abey Kallu is about it's a three act structure in finding whose those eyes are in the family. Beautiful shit, bro. Uh, like that's a very well made movie. And there's another noticeable movie I really found was unique as hell is. Uh, Chiranjeevi is Purnami Nagon interview. Do you know? I don't know, but I've never really do it. Well, it's a creepy well, movie. Yes. You know what? Do you like werewolves? Uh huh. Oh, it has that thriller song with Michael Jackson. No, no, no. Do you like werewolves? Yeah. This will fuck you because it becomes a snake. 
he becomes a snake he becomes a snake and uh, he becomes a snake on punnam like on full moon yeah. drugs were the other writers see like. that's what i mean right again you like you discuss about movies which where you think they were on some camp <laughs> those are the kind of movies you talk about and our people did a good job bro they were very original with scripts and they were very true to like re- reality of of whatever is happening right it was never glorified the concept of glorification was not there in fact it was Two thousand tens, I believe. Two thousand. See, that's where Bollywood kicked in, right? When Bollywood was making insane numbers with love stories and like typical cliche stuff, why people thought, it? "Why not?" Yeah. And then came Wanky Mama <laughs> and all that stuff. Naga, you know, Gazo. Yeah, that era was good. That was our era, I would say. Yeah, yeah that was our kids era. Yeah, yeah, we we witnessed it firsthand. Yeah, and Chiranjeevi had to transition. Which Dude, he is a fucking legend, bro. Like, look at him. He has been there since the inception, and till now, he's still making movies, remakes, Did whatever. Remake but... with Reena? Uh, Sorry, it was Chiranjeevi with Reena? Might have. I am not aware, but they might have. A N R N D R. They might have made something or the other. Yeah. Uh, because I know that when these people were like at the top, Chiranjeevi was just budding up. When A N R N D R were like uh, the top G's, uh, he was just like getting into it. Uh, but yeah, man, we start becoming wannabes ever since like 2000s entered, right? So we would do literal Bollywood movies, yeah. and then I would say Puri Jagannath was a certain bliss. Was this about Srinu Vaitla? Yeah. Srinu Vaitla was a certain bliss. Okay. Let's talk Puri Puri for a moment. I love him, dude. Uh, I don't yeah. give a fuck about like what. I I don't give a fuck about his flops, right? The kind of movies he's made, idiot. What kind of a fucking movie is that, bro? Like, it's such a good movie. It's Loki Arjun Reddy vibes at the for that generation. For that generation too. And I mean, we can't, yeah, we can't forget about we can't forget about Pokhri. <laughs> of course, Pokhri too. Uh, and for someone like to put Mahesh Babu in that zone, yeah. And the way he like ena- enacted. Uh, oh, damn, what a movie, man. What a movie! Yeah. I think it started the re-release culture, like from yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pokhri was, was the original. Should have, should have. I mean, never. Just not a single movie I went, man. Honestly speaking, yeah. but oh, Pokhri was a vibe. Was a fucking vibe. Absolute yeah. vibe. It actually changed. Uh, I would say, you know, uh, it, it it caused a ripple effect on how movies are made. A yeah. uh, hero, how grey shade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the <laughs> end, when that twist reveal happens. <laughs> and maybe Babu. that was the Ashidu yeah. Kamya father yeah. for the Tollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Telugu states. I for think that could be that. Yeah, yeah. Ajay I P S. Oh my God. Manodi itla he enters and then the Ashish. Ashish was the you know Ashish with the Arti, right? Yeah, yeah. Ashish with the Arti ke liye Padmavati na de, Ganna na de enteru. Fuck. Tiles match hai na. Tiles ko tere se na taka. That is crazy, bro. Like. I have recently discovered that they've made multiple versions of uh, Pokhari in different languages in India. Primarily yeah. being Vijay in Tamil, some yeah. Bhojpuri. Yeah, you don't know. I know this, uh, and it's absolute cringe. It's I, oh, I know bigger trivia. So apparently, Puri Jagannath went to uh, Mahesh, and he was like, "I want a script." Uh, so basically, his name is uh, uh, Ajay Rathod or something. Uh, he is from another state. He comes to uh, Hyderabad for killing gangsters. That's that's about it. Ajay Rathod, yeah, yeah, Ajay Rathod or something. This is for Pokhari. This is for Pokhari. Mm-hmm. He comes to Hyderabad like an undercover cop. The idea of the movie again, screenplay is the same. You don't know he's a cop in the first act. Towards the third act, you get to know that he's the cop. And uh, uh, and then Mahesh Babu made a few changes to it. The following predecessor to Pokhari uh, with Mahesh and Puri's combination was uh, business the businessman. Man. Yeah. And yeah. for me personally. I think uh, businessman it was better than uh, not as a masala movie, but uh, on how you can extract uh, their both potential uh, in making a movie. Yes, and yes, businessman yes. did that to the core. See again, uh, Mahesh is a wonderful actor, no matter what people say. Unfortunately, I think he is now gone into the loop where he knows certain formula brings him money, and he's just doing it. nothing wrong though, because he has done the most experimental movies. Like to be very honest, since his Start of his career, not the more a hit. Even Khaleja, for that matter, it's damn good movie, hilarious movie, not a hit. Uh, somehow, somehow, uh, Pokhari and businessman worked. Somehow, it worked for him, and he kills it like a great character, man. Yeah, he just kills. Yeah, it does. And uh, businessman, the kind of face he maintains throughout the script, and it's like he's not even fucking around, right? Outright, he just introduces him as a bad guy. 
ఆర్జీవి <laughs> 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 like when bunch of people are in a set from them ha it at some level for sure if if like a bunch of people are like let's say it's a scene where four characters are talking you feel like the fifth guy in the room because the dialogue is that realistic or that good um and puri does a very good job at it i don't know what happened to him lately but he has potential bro simply one cannot make movies like that being being a dumb fuck i think he's just swayed off a little from his father i mean he's going to come back the way he has to at this point he has to he has come back before from his flaws i would say yeah he keeps doing that bro it's a cycle of his life and another game changer for the toody game was uh, 20 years career was that oh my god that's a blip bro that is uh, ever since that movie entire did not have bad movie yeah fair enough after right. temple and he literally says the same thing in audio launch and like puri would enter do ee roju tarak ni kottaga launch chestunnam memo it's like and they did it and yeah, they, 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 they delivered what they were uh, the dialogue in that movie is too good too good tsunami vaste ninnu nannu vaal der vasam kaadu vastadi maadtedu lag kelli poddi ante to the external characters kuda the world the such a comedy what is his name what is his constable murti murti yeah and last no so you you know his real name you know his real name posani krishna sanya yeah 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 so a lady who marar sir what a dialogue what a dialogue Let it resonates everything yeah, uh, yeah. the whole movie has at like, our point of time in chi while uh, career puri is a master at showing someone gray as fuck and then making them what yeah. like, that's his trademark if you had to compare him with somebody uh, let, let's do that let's do an uh, activity if you had to compare some directors in bollywood with the parallels of hollywood uh, mm-hmm. who would puri be? i would i would my pick would be somewhere close to the quentin quentin zara i think he's more of a quentin mm. yeah he come he would come in that family of quentin him and rgv both would come in that family of quentin uh, rebels bit of scots i think i think rebel rebel yeah yeah uh, bit the, of the touch of scots is he touch of tarantino yeah. like they just scots would go more into a classic guy like nah man see again uh, see see yeah what you're saying is right you're saying like script is strong of its course is he like the world and everything but again if you come back to the very core of tarantino's and scorsese's movies is most people show rainbows wow. of most people show rainbows of reality but in reality world is shit world is a fucked up place and they deliver that and they deliver and they show that fucked up in this and then they show what fucked up that's it and the characters are fucked up see bro when you write a story you should not judge your character you should write your character for who he is and they do a good job at it and i feel like puri and arjun also do the same yeah. who who do you think Dennis, Dennis Villeneuve, Villeneuve, the one, the Dune, Dune arrival. Yeah, the one who makes is, insane uh, music. The, if you have to put it like that, you have to say Sukumar. But who else, bro? Okay, yeah. If it's Hollywood is a bubble with the way yeah, the pushback yeah. has been making. Sure, you have yeah. to compare yeah. the color, the color. I mean, they bring the color to this. the world. It's too different, different, right? See, this guy has made movies like Arrival, Enemies. um if you want okay i don't want to talk crazy again that's another <laughs> subject all again that's a damn good movie let's stick to the script right so uh, you, you can see the same in Suku- sukumar as well yeah. 100% love uh, it's different as hell right sukumar yeah that's what i mean he made a movie like that bro you could never uh, you could never imagine sukumar no ways no ways it's a fun movie to watch it is it is, it is. so sukumar was like that like no, different was that, was that launch of nagajitan as career no what do you mean oh that was josh, josh. Which again another good movie. Ripon Ninja Man of College Rat. That's the only good movie on Nagaraj Chetan. I feel bro. That in some ways hundred percent love, but Manam in some ways not entirely. Oh, Sarvera, it's like you can't even disrespect it, bro. Like it's like that. So no match. Yeah, it's like you can't even talk bad stuff about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good movie. Samantha, the Malay, what is that? Not much league. Majli is a good movie in a way and uh, well, I Emma is also based I think yeah. Emma is a bit more as Gautam Menon's uh, yeah. credibility I would say not of simple magic. Gautam Menon's world building that's it it's actually blank face dude he has a blank face in him I think sir to be honest see that's the beauty of the movie right he planned his character to be like that True. so 
Navi Singh just start to be himself. I, I, I think that's a <laughs> good job. No, nah, like for real. I think that's where he could crack that whole uh, uh, beauty of the movie. The essence of innocent, movie. innocent uh, teenager. Yeah. So, to get that. Mali, that number subtle eliminations, bro. Like where. నౌ యూ నో వై ఇట్లా అంటారు కదా ఇప్పుడు తెలుస్తుంది నా కోచ్ నన్ను ఎప్పుడు ఎందుకు లెఫ్ట్ ఫుట్ అంటాడు బెస్ట్ హీ కుడ్ ఇన్ దట్ వర్డ్ గుడ్ మూవీ దట్స్ గుడ్ మూవీ టు ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ దర్ ఇస్ నాట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఆన్సర్ బట్ ఐ థింక్ నోల్ ఇన్స్ ప్రాబ్లీ రాజ్ మౌళి ఇట్స్ అఫినేటివ్ ఆన్సర్ యూ కెన్ సీ మోర్ లైక్ స్టీవెన్ స్పీల్ బర్గ్ యూ కెన్ నాట్ కంపేర్ నోల్ ఇన్ విత్ రాజ్ మౌళి ఇట్స్ మోర్ లైక్ స్టీవెన్ స్పీల్ బర్గ్ అనుకోవచ్చు బికాస్ Yeah, visioning new words, visioning new words yeah. and like the yeah. kind of emotions that you carry. I agree, I agree. Uh, yeah. At so many levels, you'll find parallels. Or oh, James Cameron too, at so many. Mm. That's when it comes in that I would say, you know, Steven. I would say Steven. Uh, because more the, Steven, yeah. Because more of Jurassic World, the, the yeah, Jurassic Park yeah. scenario. It's basically, you have, you have to be, uh, create a story of some yeah. historic, prehistoric thing. And it's only, it's incredible. That's something this guy needs. Yeah. He's like uh, everyday stuff for us. So then who could be the only? I don't want to say Trivikram, but in some... What do you mean, bro? It's a jatapra. Sarkasm, huh? Hey. There's no one like Nolan. You got it. I see, again, if you have to put it like that, I would say Vikram K. Kumar at some level. Because I'll tell you, simple reason why. Manam Director. Uh, okay. uh, 13B, Director. Uh, uh, this dude makes insane... Is that the horror movie? Is the... Yes. 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 Madhavan. Madhavan. Oh. blue color green movie anto oh that's that's, 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 that's innovative movie i that is my initial introduction towards the horror uh, genre i would say not even nothing horror that thing be was the initial introduction towards that and kanchana kanchana is a comedy movie to that's like. literally maybe because you didn't watch a lot of movies growing up uh-huh. for me it was rgv stuff oh, i can go on bro ratri marichettu deyyam aintlo aksha i like half my mind i can name five I uh, I just I, I started watching RGV uh, since uh, GS. I'm just kidding. He's a great actor, bro. You should uh, check out Satya. You watched that? Have movie? you seen GS? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Any good movie? Oh wait, wait, wait! It's a uh, Guns and Thighs or something like that. Got sex and throat with uh, Mia Malkova. Ah, yeah, bro. Bro, danger. Like, I see again RGV in an interview, like. again our guys like a borderline amputate right so people ask him all sorts of <laughs> shit and he just keeps giving all the answers doesn't give a fuck uh one of the uh, one of the questions they ask is like you clearly know you're making fuck all shit and you're releasing it in your like private app why are you doing this nice stuff he says it takes me like 5 6 lakh or 10 lakh to make my stuff even even if the least of the least of the people and and to purchase movies like 4 500 bucks it's like even if i get the minimum roi i get double of what i put in So I'm making business. He's made too many good enough movies at this point. He doesn't need to prove himself or, you know, give. He's like, you know, I haven't seen Satya yet. Satya is a damn good movie, bro. I, if you watch Satya, you'll say you can. You you will admit that Rajmo uh, Ram Gopal Verma has a lot of uh, parallels with uh, Scorsese. Mm. Satya is a good guy. It's the best Indian gangster flick. Okay, okay. Putting aside gangs of Asipur. No, yeah. After Gangs of Asipur, I would say this is the best. I think Arun Kashyap was uh, Rajiv's uh, disciple. He was the writer. Yeah, yeah. He, he was uh, something. He was the assistant. He, he actually looks up to him a lot. I mean, lots of Bollywood people look Satyalo. up to him. Satya, no. Assistant director is uh, Kashyap. Kashyap. Okay. Dialogues is Kashyap for Hindi. Telugu is Ajay. Well, he was, in, in a way, uh, the person pulling stuff behind the curtains. You know, game-changing. the industry the movie industry i would say the, for the indian yeah, yeah, yeah true 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 he never came for fun but he was doing something behind the scene all the time and he has caused a ripple effect in producing uh, puri jagannath kashyap and probably some other act that's why he's very well respected right yeah. even now uh, amitabh bachchan will be will be honest like true, you know, true, yeah, he, so, he said that some in some interview right? amitabh bachchan likes rgv yeah he said some rgv or no no there was this interview i heard where uh, um, like it it was a, this was i'm paraphrasing puri jagannath so the the I, the situation basically was puri it's an interview where uh, they asked me get la amitabh bachchan to role chance achin gaya on so apparently rgv puri go meet amitabh mm-hmm. uh i uh, puri <laughs> narrates the script uh-huh. amitabh bachchan like i don't like it rgv is like what the fuck are you saying 
ఈ మూవీ చేస్తే నువ్వు అమితాబ్ బచ్చన్ కాకుండా పోతావు నువ్వు స్టార్ కి ఇంకేమైనా స్టార్ అవుతావు ఈ మూవీ ఫ్లాప్ అయితే నువ్వు ఉన్న స్టార్ కూడా ఇంకేమైనా పడతావు నేను హట్ అయిన గురించి అని చెప్పి లెఫ్ట్ హీ లీవ్స్ అంటావు చంద్రముఖి చంద్రముఖి అరుంధతి ఎస్ ఈ టూ మూవీస్ థియేటర్ అరే మనకి ప్రసాద్ చెంత దగ్గర రా వి వుడ్ గో టు ప్రసాద్ ఆల్ ద టైమ్ రైట్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ ఐ హర్డ్ దిస్ న్యూస్ ఐ రిమెంబర్ దిస్ ఐ వాచింగ్ ఫర్ రీడింగ్ సమ్ వేర్ ఆన్ ది న్యూస్ పేపర్ దట్ సమ్ డై డైడ్ ఆఫ్ హార్ట్ అటాక్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ అరుంధతి సీ ఓకే ఇట్స్ అ మార్కెటింగ్ గిమిక్ సీ దిస్ యాక్చువల్లీ దిస్ క్యాంపెయిన్ స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ హాలీవుడ్ అగైన్ యు నెవర్ నో హూ దట్ పర్సన్ ఇస్ నెవర్ నో వాట్ ద పర్సన్ వేర్ ఇస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆర్ వై హిస్ డెడ్ they just say that they someone's someone's died that's just a marketing gimmick they do it always especially with the woke right. culture like doing an open challenge yeah. yeah especially with the woke culture around if someone actually dies watching a movie yeah. he would be cancelled <laughs> he would literally be cancelled that actually happens but yeah it's the most oldest uh, trick in the textbook here so <laughs> folk movie i think rgv is uh, to rgv is marketing simply what apple Yeah, some bullshit so, yeah, like it it actually. That people turning into uh, the folk was. Arre, that's not it. That is stupid. That is Darna Mana. Hai. It's an anthology. That's, we, you, we would watch it as kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's different, bro. Hey, come on. Okay. Uh, we're, we're taking too long. Uh, we can't talk about movies and not talk about Karma. Karma. Oh, fuck. <laughs> లైక్ He's Thanos, bro. According to our <laughs> Indian... No. He destroys half of humanity. Because it's bad. And half... The good half remains. Bad half yeah. dies. It's like... That's why Kalki is there. And again, I don't see his Kalki. Uh, it, was a, it was a white jazz. Yeah, too much to handle. Uh, and he shot the entire thing in the US. Yeah. It, that's it, the bloody it, irony. <laughs> yeah. We probably didn't have money to come to India. And India, I yeah, do all that stuff. But fine, honest efforts. I mean, look at where he is now. He only picks good, good shit. All of movies are nice. Yeah. And he executes movies at such low budgets. He doesn't choose the output alone. The kind of money that they have initially and for them to, you know, allocate budgets and execute such output is very difficult. Now, what are the upcoming Telugu movies that are you excited about? Uh, looking forward for what for me Baba I would say that I'm really looking forward for Guda Chari too yeah yeah same uh, because as a pers- personally I love the spy thriller the spy genre yeah I and there's another one the kills movie is coming that's literally called spy okay yeah, spy or something uh, like that yeah yeah just remind uh, me of the plot I saw the trailer I think are the trailer release and basically they don't show much bro it's like spy stuff pretty good again well shot uh, a ca- uh, locations are good not can you motherfucker came out of happiness is it was really good yeah the lucky guy which fest ninchi again he struggled bro yeah. he didn't want to ship movies after that he he said swami rana was the turning game point changer so i can mind i think and the yeah, swami rana was the game changer and then kartikeya to the event nation by swami rana kartikeya uh are do unta the surya was a surya Uh, oh, that's an insane movie again. That's oh, an that's insane movie. Really he good. only picks scripts like that. So that's crazy. Yeah. I think I think we were very close to closing the podcast. It so was a fun time. time. Yeah. Talking about great. movies like the old times. We were actually it's planning to do a lot. We actually wrote I know, shit. right? <laughs> we literally wrote it on common points. We can talk about stuck at point number one. And all But I think that's what it was. Hollywood and just Talibu. some Telugu. And we didn't even scrape the yeah. Telugu movie industry. We just touched the pinnacles of it. Problems of being original. Yeah. I think yeah, we should do another one. We should probably in a bigger setup. We need to bring some more people. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll have more perspectives. But this is fun, man. Honestly it's speaking. Yeah. We should talk about different topics. We should. We should. We'll explore. I think. Definitely. That was good. That was fucking good. Yeah. Thanks, Ari. Thank you, Ari, for being an assistant.